Hey guys, what is going on? And today I'm going to be showing you how to get Flappy Birds after it has been taken down of the App Store. Now, everyone in their lives must have played this game. Uh, it's very addictive, I'll tell you that now, and frustrating. I wouldn't recommend playing it, you'll get very pissed off and might smash your phone. But anyway, after um, actually Flappy Buzz was taken down of the App Store, um, the sales on eBay with phones with Flappy Buzz and went like crazy. I think some of them sold for like six grand or something. Now that is um, quite crazy. I was even considering selling my phone with Flappy Buzz on anyway. Anyway, today I'm going to be showing you how to get Flappy Buzz. You don't have to be jailbroken. Um, that's a good thing about this. You don't have to be jailbroken. You still can be jailbroken and do this. Um, it's a very same thing to do. And we'll be doing this with an application called VShare, which basically down lets you download applications for free. Um, so let's get to it. Um, to download VShare, you want to go to your internet and you want to go uh, and just type in VShare. Pretty simple. It is a Chinese app and uh, they have developed it. And then you just click on the first thing that comes up. And that is where we will download from when it decides to load, which will be now. Uh, here we go. Now there are two options to download. You can either download the jailbroken one or the unjailbroken one. Uh, my iPad is jailbroken, so I've got the um, jailbroken one, but they are the exact same. So as you can see, I click on it, and then you just click download, and then it will say install, and then you'll get a nice, neat application like this. Now, VSHA are constantly coming up with updates as well, which is very handy, and it is a great piece of software. I especially like the interface and how you can actually change the interface. See, that there's already a new... Um, a new version available they're always updating it which is good and always patching it so uh, I'll get to that later and really good thing about this interface you can actually change the interface so if I don't like that I can change it to that I quite like this one anyway so I'm just gonna keep it like that so to start off we're gonna go to the search bar and type in flappy bird and then you see it comes up uh, and here we go straight it is at the top you just click on it and now here where it says history for me it should oh wait let me just get back to oh whoopsie anyway look, let me get back uh flappy birds uh here and where it says history for me it should say installed for you if you have not already got it you then click it and it should be something like this click direct download and click the top one now once you have installed it or started installing it, it would come over to here where you will start installing it. It, it will install uh, reasonably quickly depending on how good your internet speed is. Once it has installed it will automatically install. Uh, if it doesn't however you can just click your downloaded, click on the application and click install. Pretty self explanatory. Uh, once it has installed, um, well then yeah there you go, have fun with frustration and anger and and probably not playing with your friends much because you'll be on this. So, if you don't know what Flappy Birds is, I'm obviously so good at it. Um, as you can see, I am just amazing. It's lagging a little bit because I'm recording though. But as you can see, this is the latest version of Flappy Birds that was um, released before it got taken down. <sighs> I'm so shit at this game. Oh well, my high, my high school is yeah, I'm proud of that. Uh, tell me what your high scores are in the comment section below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe. It would really help. And yeah, as always, guys, please like, subscribe, and peace. Blah.